In this video, we will go over how to troubleshoot your solar panels. This test will generally be able to determine whether or not your solar panels are defective. The items you will need are a multimeter, a specification sheet, and sunlight. The panels will need to be tested individually, meaning you must disconnect them beforehand. Please ensure that there's nothing on the surface of the panel and that the panels are facing full sunlight. You will need to perform an open circuit voltage and a short circuit current test on the panels to determine if it is defective. Before doing this, make sure to get the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current of the panels from the specification sheet. Step one, open circuit voltage test. Turn the multimeter dial to VOC. Insert the positive multimeter lead into the positive lead of the panel inside the MC4 connector, as well as the negative as shown here. The VOC should be in a plus or minus 10% range of what it says on the specification sheet. If it is, then your panel is producing the correct voltage. If it is not, then your panel may be defective. If your voltage is zero or around half of the suspected voltage, you may need a replacement diode or a replacement panel. We recommend calling a technician to confirm if this is defective. Step two, short circuit current test. The panel specifications are rated at 1000 watts per meter squared, so any fraction of this will affect the ISC. For example, 500 watts per meter squared will be roughly 50% of the rated ISC on the spec sheet. It is important to keep this in mind. Turn the multimeter dial to ISC. Angle your panel as best as you can facing the sun. Insert the positive multimeter lead into the positive lead of the panel inside the MC4 connectors as well as the negative as shown here. The rated ISC should be minus 50% or greater. We say as low as minus 50% because your insulation level might be low at the time. But even a 50% rating is showing that your panels are producing current. Anything above the spec sheet is okay as well. If it is within this rating, then your panel is producing the correct amperage. If not, your panel may be defective and we recommend calling or emailing a technician to confirm this. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a bright and sunny day.